All right, so hello people. Uh, good to have you again. I am happy to be back on the set. Okay, my name is Isaac Mugira. I am a senior agronomist with uh, Agro and More, Agri Business Developers Limited. Okay, I want to thank all of you that have supported us, that are our customers, that have encouraged us. Those of you that have commented, that like our comment, that have kept our content flowing, you know, as you share and connect information from one uh, platform to another. We appreciate you guys are the best. I will love you so much. Uh, anyhow, my sincere apologies. I was supposed to, you know, update you guys on a, uh, it was supposed to be a bi-weekly, but for some reasons, randomly, I have not been able to keep up to speed. But here we are, okay, here we are. I am at the farm. This is our farm. We are in uh, some place far away in Gomba. And uh, I'm not going to talk about goats. I'm not going to talk about goats. But I want us to talk about uh the passion fruits i committed to talk about passion fruits and um yeah i would like us to talk about passion fruits this right here is our farm okay and we are going to have um about two acres of passion fruits okay and we're just taking simple basic uh steps anybody can take you can take your sister can take your mother can take uh to come up with a, an orchard of uh, passion fruits but um, what have we done, okay? Uh, you get very good seed. There's a lot of good seed, passion fruit seed in the market. Uh, then you you put it in a nursery bed. For example, this was our starter nursery bed. where We just poured uh, lots of seeds in here, prepared our nursery bed very well. You can see those that didn't uh, germinate are still here. We still have those that are still coming out. Uh, after they came out, uh, to this level we have been putting them and uh, this is what it looks like okay you want to take a closer shot you know so they can see so that's what it looks like after potting and then after potting we shall move them to the main garden uh, for planting what do you need to know about passion fruits for example okay i want to take this position so i can talk when i am here Okay. So what do you need to know about passion fruits, for example? Uh, one of the uh, uh, profitable businesses that I can comfortably talk about uh, in Uganda. And um, not many countries are actually able to produce passion fruits. For example, for example, I'll tell you, a lot of passion fruit goes to Kenya. A lot of it goes to Kenya. Uh, I have been to Burundi. Those guys don't have them. They don't, they don't have this. All they have are packed juices sometimes people want to taste the natural okay uh, not a lot is grown from tanzania so we are happy and unique to be the ones growing passion fruits in uganda uh how how they have, um how does it pay off you know if you have bought passion fruits you know you have been on the market you know every uh, about seven pieces six pieces sometimes they'll go for one thousand sometimes it can be ten pieces going for one thousand you know uh, a bug of uh, passion fruit has gone as high as you know 900 1 million and you know these are things that we can do these are things that me and you can do so think about it uh, if you ever think about starting passion fruits please know that it is a simple thing you know to start with okay so let's come back okay um what do we need to know about passion fruits at this stage okay let me get a better one so you can see see okay so here's what you need to know at this stage um you need just good seed okay get very good passion fruits seeds uh where do we get the good seeds from some people what they do they go to established farmers they pick the best harvest from them uh after they have uh, collected that they come and squeeze out the, the juice. If you're doing that and you're taking that route, please remember, we do not put sugar. We do not mix the passion fruit seeds with the sugar if you have taken that route, although it is not the best route uh, alternative. Um, if you have taken that route, you go to a farmer that is already practicing and doing it. Uh, you get the best fruits from their orchard. After you've gotten the best fruits from their orchard, you, uh, you 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 slice and, and harvest all the seeds and then you squeeze them 
to remove uh, the, the acid, the, the juice. Eh? The, sweet, the juice sometimes can actually delay the, the germination of the seeds. So after you have squeezed them, uh, what we do, you mix them with a, a bit of ash, okay? Ash, ash, evue. And then after you mix it with, with the ash, you put it in some, uh, some place eh? that it does not uh, receive uh, sunshine, a lot of sunshine, direct sunshine. So you, you just put them somewhere where they are not going to be heated under uh, direct sunshine. It can be maybe uh, under shade, it can be maybe somewhere safe in the house, but it can also be somewhere, anywhere where there's shade anyway. Uh, you allow them to dry and then after you're sure that they have dried, you can come and you know put them into, into a nursery bed. Depending on um, many things, uh, depending on the, the, the weather, depending on the kind of the soils, depending on the temperatures, depending on um, the soil uh, attributes, they may come up early or they may take long. Okay. Uh, after you have put them in the nursery bed, they, they, they can mean to take quite some long time before they come out. And please don't feel like, oh, they have taken so long, maybe they will not germinate. No, they eventually come out. Even up to date, uh, we can still see some of them coming out uh, out of our our nursery bed. Although we have already gotten what is enough, okay? Uh, this is the, uh, uh, the cheapest approach, okay? Some other people, what they do, they don't have the patience to go through this step and they just buy these, okay? Uh, depending on where you get your seedling, some people sell a seedling at 1,000, some guys sell a seedling at uh, 500, sometimes it's going to be, I don't know, it depends on who your supplier is. But depending on where you get it, what do you need to know? Be sure that you are getting the right what? The right seedling that is going to give you the yield. Passion fruits take quite some time before you begin to get results, okay? You're going to feed them until you are month seven, eh? before you even get your first harvest. It can go up to month seven. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, it may take you about six, seven months before you even get a good harvest from them. And you don't want to get to the seventh month of your garden and all to realize is that you planted the wrong what? The wrong seed. So what am I saying? Just be sure that uh, you are planting the right seed because it is going to influence the yield thereafter. Okay, I have talked about that root. Uh, if we come back to the other alternative is going to an agro input shop and you get very good seeds okay now passion fruit seeds are typical or are common to uganda okay so we do not have hybrid seeds as of yet you know common especially when we are talking the varieties that are common among ugandans you know here i'm talking about varieties like uh, upf12 upf12 is the purple variety okay common among the masaka guys okay a lot of passion fruit comes from there so the upf 12 uh, has unique attributes yes the color is purple but inside the juice quality is also very good the seeds are small you know the color of the juice very very yellow and concentrated in there it's very very good juice that it makes but unfortunately we do not yet have uh, the hybrid of it it's not been uh, hybridized and those that are that are present on the market are open pollinated varieties but um yeah so i'm saying that passion fruits are typical to they are common among the ugandans uh, the world outside there actually knows some different varieties and if you bring those varieties in here they may not actually uh, be adopted when it comes to them. from here it's going to influence how the plant is going to perform while we go to the main what field yeah in terms of insect sites no, nothing to worry about. Ordinary, um, ordinary cypermethrin should be sufficient to help you uh, guard against uh, insects like grasshoppers, caterpillars, and all the cutworms, and all and all that. Uh, but uh, just quickly uh, to talk about the diseases at this stage, uh, really nothing to worry about in terms of diseases. Passion fruits have uh, diseases like anthracnose, diseases like blight, diseases like uh, the hardwood. Diseases like, uh, um, there's quite a number of diseases when we talk about passion fruit, but right at this stage, they are not really a big concern. The plant is young, it has the vigor, it can fight to sustain itself without, you know, uh, um, any, any, anything being compromised. Yes, um, then uh, the other thing, 
are talking about the fertilizers the fertilizers at this stage we're going to need a lot of um, if you could get some good level of potassium okay for the plant uh, why a good level of potassium is because we need to build the immunity of the plant okay before we move it to the main garden because there's so many things that it is going to encounter when it goes to the main garden we have to be sure that its immunity has been built and that is built by increasing the level of what of potassium uh, uh, beyond the potassium you're going to need a lot uh, a bit of uh, nitrogen to quickly boost its vegetative growth okay and have you know the vines you know begin to stretch and later on we shall be talking about how the vines are going to expand so the nitrogen component is also important for the vegetative stage uh, growth sorry uh, we're going to need a lot of uh, phosphorus for the plant and that is important to see that uh, our plant can get the roots you know established and they are growing very well before we do any movements of the plant okay just to show you here like as, as we're winding up if you may come uh, close our process is simple and this is something that you can do at home we put our passion fruit seeds in the nursery okay after the nursery we have been potting them now like here we have some that have just been potted you know some of them look weakly but they pick up they'll pick up they'll pick up and then after they have picked up now like those ones have picked up we then you know begin to sort them now this is a sorted one all of these ones are, are almost ready to be you know moved and then we have bigger potting bags here and these potting potting uh, uh, bags uh, for the main garden to be uh, you know transferred in there so you are without excuse okay uh, this is a business that can be done by you who is seated at home if you are there you're wondering okay what do i do in agriculture you can do this and supply seedlings in your neighborhood and people will appreciate you uh and and some income will be coming in okay uh you just simply have to get very quality seed please protect your buyers by simply getting them very quality seeds and this is by simply connecting uh, to people like us okay we shall give you quality seed do this we shall guide you on how to come up with all these seedlings and then you know you can you can grow them you can sell them you can do everything that you may want with them otherwise i hope you have enjoyed today's session i, I beg to end here my name is isaac i thank you if you have enjoyed this today's clip please uh, ask a friend to ask a friend to subscribe okay remember to uh, uh, follow us on all our media handles and those within uh, our areas of reach please uh, come in let's 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 support our input uh, stores uh, if you are in mpg our input store is in MPG town. If you are in Kamengo, we are on Kamengo stage. If you are in Chibibi, Chibibi, we are in Chibibi town. If you are in Gombe, we are in Gombe town. And so many other outlets are going to be opening up soon. I am happy to be, uh, you know, leading you in this class. And I hope to see you all next time. Uh, and we shall be looking at things we're going to have to consider when we are uh, planting our passion fruit in the main garden. Otherwise, it was happy being a part of this session today. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed ask a friend to ask a friend to subscribe thank you isaac bye